Welcome to Miss K Movie Recap. The first scene introduces three Detroit thieves, Rocky, Alex, and Money, who make a fortune by breaking into homes and stealing goods. At the moment, they are breaking into the home of a wealthy owner. As soon as they unlock the door, they deactivate the security system and start stealing expensive stuff from the home. When they are finished, they restart the alarm and shatter the front door window, causing the alarm to sound as they depart. Later, as they drive away in their car, Rocky and Money talk about their intention to leave the city and relocate to California after their last theft. Rocky asks Alex to join them, but he refuses since he cannot leave his father. They then drop Alex off at his place. He goes straight to his father's workspace, unlocks a drawer, and returns the key from the house they just looted. We find that his father works for home security, and he has spare keys to all of the properties in town. Rocky, on the other hand, lives with her younger sister Diddy, their violent mother Ginger, and Trevor, her mother's drunken lover. She appears to be so fed up with her difficult situation at home that she wants to start a new life in California with her sister. In the next scene, Money attempts to sell the stolen goods but does not receive the expected price. Seeing his irritation, the dealer recommends they steal cash instead of things. He also tells Money about a Gulf War veteran named Norman Nordstrom, who lives alone in an abandoned Detroit neighborhood. The dealer claims to have more than $300,000 in cash stored someplace in his home. A wealthy woman allegedly killed Norman's daughter in a car accident, prompting the compensation. The next day, Money meets with his friends and confides in them. Rocky supports this plan because it could be their last robbery, but Alex disagrees. He is concerned about the possible consequences of taking such a significant sum. For both them and his father's firm, later that day, Rocky texts Alex imploring him to complete the job for her so she can get her sister out of town. This eventually persuades him, as he seems to have a crush on her. Later that evening, the three friends travel to the abandoned area to spy on Norman's home. During this, they discover that the man they intend to rob is blind. Alex believes that robbing such a person is wrong, but Money counters that simply because he is blind does not make him a saint. During their conversation, they are surprised when Norman's Rottweiler dog leaps on their car door, causing them to drive away. At midnight, the group returns to the vet's house to commit the robbery. Before unlocking the door, they first drugged and sedated the dog. However, to their dismay, the door has four unlocks, while Alex only has one key. As a result, they search for another way to break in. They quickly find a small bathroom window, and Rocky, the smallest of the group, decides to enter using it. As soon as she enters, she utilizes a master remote to turn off the alarm. She then unlocks the front door and is open to her friends inside. After this, the group removes their shoes and begins their search for the safe containing the cash. Money walks upstairs and finds the blind man asleep with the television turned on. He quietly places a sleeping gas bottle inside the room, so Norman does not wake up. After wondering about it for a while, the group discovers a closed door leading to the basement. Money gets out his tools and attempts to break the lock on the door, convinced that the loot is lying inside. After several futile tries, he pulls out a pistol, leaving the other two group members shocked. The terrified Alex underlines how possessing a firearm in a robbery will change the circumstances. Money, on the other hand, ignores his concerns and destroys the door lock. Alex becomes concerned about the potential effects and decides to leave. He then puts on his shoes and walks outside. Money and Rocky open the door, and the blind man appears, asking who is there. In an attempt to calm down the situation, Money stands up and insists that he will walk away because he does not want any trouble. But when Norman tries to follow his voice, he pulls out his pistol and threatens to shoot the man. He even opens fire to intimidate Norman, but he continues to move forward. Alex hears a gunshot outside and returns to find out what happened. Money's gun is rapidly taken by the vet, who pins him against the wall. He wants to know how many of them are present, to which Money responds that he is the only one and requests to be released. Norman loosens his grip but shoots him in the neck, killing him. Rocky feels afraid to see this sight, but she tries not to make a sound. She carefully steps backwards before hiding in a closet. In the following scene, Alex enters the house carefully, barely avoiding a collision with the blind guy. Norman then locks and bolts all of the doors and windows. In the meantime, Alex hides in the toilet and texts Rocky looking at where she's been. Before he can approach her, Norman goes into the closet and opens a concealed safe to check his treasures. 
After ensuring that it is safe, he locks it again, during which Rocky discovers the access code. Alex finds Rocky moments after he leaves and encourages him to go immediately. She agrees, but first she opens the safe and steals the money. Following this, they both decide to exit through the basement corridor that leads to the cellar door in the yard. As they get ready to enter, the vet comes out from the same entrance, shocking the two buddies for a second. They stay in silence till the blind man begins disposing of Money's body. Alex and Rocky then go to the basement and use their phone's flashlight to find their way out. Shortly after, Norman recognizes the extra pair of shoes, making him realize that there are more thieves. He hurries back to check the safe, only to discover it empty. In the basement, the two buddies are surprised by a woman who is bound and chained to the wall. Her movement appears to be linked to a bell that sounds, alerting Norman. Nervous Alex and Rocky prepare to leave, but the woman suddenly holds out a newspaper piece, identifying herself as Cindy Robert. She's the same person who accidentally killed Norman's daughter. Despite their shock, the duo decides to rescue her regardless of what she has done. Cindy then points to a safe box, from which they extract lots of keys. As soon as they remove her bindings, they carry her to the cellar door. They rush to open the door, only to see the blind man waiting for them with a gun. He quickly opens fire, causing them to flee. Unfortunately, one of the bullets hits Cindy, killing her on the spot. Then Rocky and Alex go to run and hide, while Norman breaks down and cries over Cindy's body, claiming the baby has died. Now that he has nothing to lose, Norman swears to hunt down the intruders and get revenge. He turns off the lights and begins chasing the two close friends around the large, dark basement. At one point, the vet apprehends Alex and attempts to shoot him, but his gun runs out of bullets. Alex then pushes a shelf down on him before fleeing upstairs with Rocky. When they get out of the cellar, Alex uses a crowbar to seal the entrance. But before they can get to the front door, they come across the Rottweiler, who is now awake and ready to attack. In a desperate attempt to save themselves, they flee to the second story and lock themselves in one of the rooms. They look into the window, only to find it barred, and it appears that there is no way out. Meanwhile, the blind man returns from the basement, takes his gun from the bedroom, and then walks toward the room where the intruders are hiding. As Norman attempts to burst through the door, Alex and Rocky discover a ventilation duct on the wall. Alex orders her to leave through it while he stays behind to secure the door. As soon as she steps into the duct, the blind man and his dog break in. They attack Alex, causing him to fall out of the window and hit a skylight, rendering him asleep. The dog then follows Rocky's scent through the vent. Sensing the impending danger, she jumps into a vertical shaft to escape. Norman realizes where Alex is and fires through the skylight, flinging him to the first floor. The blind man then confronts him in the utility room, where he keeps his gardening tools. He brutally beats Alex until he loses consciousness before stabbing him with a pair of gardening shears. Rocky, on the other hand, continues crawling through the vent, eventually discovering two openings, one going to a room and the other outside. She tries to pass through the ladder, but Norman grabs her and knocks her out. When Rocky wakes up, she finds herself imprisoned in the basement, like Cindy. She begs him to let her go, pledging never to speak about the kidnapping. However, Norman maintains that detaining Cindy was not intended as suffering or punishment for what she had done to his daughter. He felt it would only be fair if she gave him another child in exchange for the one she had killed. It emerges that he had been holding Cindy there because she was pregnant with his child. But now that she has died, his unborn child has also died, and he blames Rocky for it. As a result, he tells her that she must bear his child on Cindy's behalf. Meanwhile, Alex wakes up and discovers that the blind man stabbed Money's body earlier. He fools the dog and locks it in a room. Following that, he unlocks all four locks on the front entrance before proceeding to rescue Rocky. Back in the basement, Norman tears a hole in Rocky's pants and grabs a baster containing his semen sample, planning to impregnate her. Just before he can do so, Alex bursts into the cellar and whacks the blind man on the head. He then shackles him and releases Rocky who beats him up to express her wrath. Following this, they decide to allow him to rot in the basement rather than involve the police, which could work against them. Alex and Rocky then grab the money bag and walk towards the front entrance. But as soon as he opens the door, he is shot from behind by the blind man, who has broken free from his bindings. Rocky rushes towards their car, and the dog pursues her. 
She manages to get in, but loses the money bag in the process. Rocky also finds out she does not have the car keys. Thinking of an option, she confines the dog in the car trunk and exits the vehicle. However, the threat is not yet gone away, as the blind guy captures her again and drags her back to his home. When they arrive, Rocky finds the master remote and uses it to activate the security alarm. The sound confuses the vet, and Rocky takes advantage of this to push him down into the cellar. She retrieves the money and exits the scene just before the cops arrive, believing he is dead. In the last scene, Rocky and her younger sister are seen sitting in a cafe at the Detroit airport. While eating, Rocky notices a news story on the incident, which states that the blind man survived and is recovering in the hospital. Norman claims to have murdered two intruders in self-defense, but he makes no mention of Rocky, Cindy, or the stolen money. The film concludes with Rocky and Diddy heading to California to begin their new lives. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for supporting my channel.